Whenever we're using the, the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic function, it's always important for us to consider the nature of the roots. And what I mean by that is what do our answers look like or how many can we expect to get? Thinking about quadratics, we've really only got three situations to consider. We've got times when our quadratic doesn't intersect the x-axis at all. We've got situations where we intersect only once. And of course we also have situations where the quadratic intersects twice. So in other words we can have two, one, or no roots. Well, these situations depend heavily on what happens underneath the square root sign in the quadratic formula. Looking at the value b squared minus 4ac, if that value were ever to be negative, we'd end up with a negative sign underneath the root. And if we have a negative sign underneath the root sign, we can't take the square root, because we can't take the square root of negative numbers. What that would mean would be that we would have no intercepts. So if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, we don't have any roots. Or no real roots anyways. If we run into a situation where I have b squared minus 4ac equal to 0, well now the formula above would simply become negative b over 2a because this part is no longer needed because it's zero anyways. What that means then is that I've only got now one value for x implying that I only have one root. And the last part of this would be if b squared minus 4ac is larger than zero then this whole formula does apply and I'm going to be having the b value added and subtracted with this root. So that would imply that I'm going to get not no none, not one, but two roots.